Hi! Long time no see, lots has changed. I am in a room that you might not have seen if you looked at my plant tour, um, because this was our spare room and now it is our baby's nursery, which is very exciting. Um, I shared a little tour of it actually on the blog, so if you actually want to have a look around this entire room, I'll just pop a little link to the blog in the comment bit down below. Today I thought I would share with you my new baby essentials kind of kit, I guess, the stuff that we haven't been able to live without for the first week of baby's life. If you can hear him squawking in the background, don't worry, he's not unattended and I'm not a terrible mother. He is with my husband, so I've just been a bit grizzly today, which is nice. So yeah, we bought loads and loads of stuff or we had loads of recommendations and we were given a few bits. So instead of going through literally everything that we got in the run up and kind of saying what we were going to use, I thought it would be useful to go through what we have actually super duper been using and that I would kind of recommend to everybody else. So. Kicking things off. If I make no sense, I do apologise. I've got, still got a massive fuzzy baby brain. It's only been eight days. So, basically, to give you a bit of background, we are cloth nappying. So, we made the decision before baby arrived that we didn't want to use disposable wipes or disposable nappies because it is absolutely insane how much waste having a baby produces and how much goes to landfill and nappies, even the kind of biodegradable ones, don't biodegrade in landfill because they're squashed between loads of bags of rubbish and they don't get any air and so they can't break down and yeah, they apparently take 500 years to break down and it's awful and 93% of all sewerage blockages in the UK anyway are from baby wipes ending up in the system either being flushed down the toilet or yeah just just making their way there and I just think it's awful and it's wasteful and if we can do something ourselves to not contribute to that then yeah we were willing to give it a go. So to kick things off on my essentials if you're also looking to go down that route I would say Definitely, definitely do it. We did buy some, a pack of water wipes and a pack of like biodegradable, natty, disposable newborn nappies, just in case, because people said, oh, get some anyway, because the newborn poops are a nightmare. They're like tar and then they're like water and it's really hard to contain them in a cloth nappy. And so you might find you want to use disposables. We used maybe two disposables and then we just really didn't like them. They're really scratchy and horrible on the skin and the cloth ones are really soft and lovely and we found using them from the start was kind of okay because being our first baby, it's like, you know, we're not doing anything, having to unlearn anything or do something differently to what we've previously done it before. So cloth nappy wise, um, we have absolutely loved two different types. So um, these ones here, I don't know if you can see them, are by a brand called G Nappies. They are really, really simple to use. They Velcro on just like a disposable. They're teeny tiny newborn ones, which fits his bot perfectly. And then they have a little um, kind of like soft insert that slips inside and soaks up all the wee. And then we've got a bamboo liner um, that contains as much poo as possible and um, goes in a nappy bag in the bin or straight in the bin. Um, and yeah, these have been really, really good. This little wrap that goes over the outside has got a waterproof layer. And yeah, we really like them. They were especially good because when the baby is newborn and has its like gri grisly, disgusting umbilical cord, basically with other nappies, you kind of need to fold them down and try and not get it interfering with the fresh, <laughs> gross, grisly umbilical cord. And then these are super soft and not irritating and don't really get in the way of it. So we really, really like these. And they've got two settings with little poppers where you can make them smaller or bigger depending on kind of, yeah, how they are as they pop out of the womb and when they get a little bit bigger. So they're teeny tiny newborn. I don't know how much longer he'll be in those, but he was six pound five. So he was quite a small bubby and these fit perfectly. They're not brand new actually. We were kindly given these by one of my Instagram followers, who's an absolute babe, and she had used them for her little babies and then no longer had a use for them, so I said that I want them. And we're so up for secondhand things like that, and they're great, they're in perfect condition and they work amazingly. So we love those. I think we might, as it gets bigger, invest in some more of the G nappies because we've really got on well with that. And it is just a case of trial and error. We do have <laughs> some to compare the size. This is a newborn nappy. 
This is what they call a birth potty nappy. And the idea being that once he reaches about 10 pounds, this again has kind of proper settings that you can make it a lot smaller. But this is a Bambino Mayo nappy, another cloth one. And this one hopefully will see him through from when he gets to about 10 pounds, right up until he's potty trained, hopefully. So that'll be really good. Looking forward to trying these out, but at the moment that is too big for a tiny bottom that this fit. We also really loved, um, we've been using these Baba and Boo newborn nappies. So they're bigger than the G nappies. So I'm hoping we get more wear out of them. And they again are a Velcro closure with poppers to adjust the rise to make them smaller for a little bot and bigger as he grows. And these again have the nice little bamboo inserts that go into them basically and the idea is that you can put in as many layers as you want with these to make it as absorbent as you need so at night time he might have two or three boosters because whilst he's sleeping he wheezes like a trooper and so yeah save us having any leaks we can just add in little extra layers of bamboo which is really really nice and again super duper soft on his little newborn bum so we really, really like these and we've actually found that washing them and kind of getting into the routine of that hasn't really been too much of a chore because he's like, you know, sicking on baby grows and muslins and all of that anyway. So we're doing more washes and it's just, yeah, part of the routine. So cloth nappies first is a massive essential. There are loads of brands out there. Like I said, G nappies, Bubba and Boo are the ones we've been using. We also bought some top spots nappies as well but we've found that they're too still too big for him even the newborn sizes so hoping that we'll get more use out of those as he gets bigger but yeah what i would say is get a few trial nappies from various cloth nappy companies or maybe borrow some from a local nappy library because they have cloth nappy libraries that they'll lend out kits for and you can kind of try see what works best with your baby because i guess if your baby's got spindly little legs then ones with big leg holes might not be suitable or little chunky legs and vice versa and yeah it all depends on size and shape of your baby and to you know work out which brands and fits work best for you so yeah definitely shop around try loads for those are the ones that we like and we love them so we will be cloth nappying forever more really and i guess as well the thing that i really like about cloth nappies is once you've invested in your set of them you can in theory use them again for any subsequent children you have so they're quite expensive you know a nappy a cloth nappy ranges from about 15 pounds to 25 pounds each and you need well about 20 to be able to do washing every other day and then have enough ready to supply you for the next day and so yeah if you work out 20 times 25 pounds or 15 pounds or whatever if you're buying everything brand new then it is quite an expensive outlay but then when you compare that to the cost of buying disposable nappies for three years they say you save about seven eight hundred pounds which is you know no small amount of money and then when you get your second child or subsequent children from that and you don't have to buy any more nappies because you have your whole stock there then obviously you're saving yourself a huge amount of money and yeah and also you can buy second hand there are loads of groups on facebook um and they're amazing they're really good for advice and things like that i found them really helpful to work out how to like get the best fit on your baby for various nappies and yeah people sell them and you know as long as they're washed and strip washed you know they they look great and they're definitely something that you can just use again and again and again so don't be afraid to buy second hand because it's ace as well and you can save yourself even more money as well as the cloth nappies we have like i said gone down the cloth wipe route as well because we didn't want to use our disposable wipes so basically at home we have one of these again i didn't want to use like plasticky stuff so this is like just an amber glass spray bottle i got these on amazon I will link to everything, by the way, if you kind of click down on the description, I will try and use my brain to link to everything that I'm talking about. Yeah, these bottles are great. At the moment, we've just got plain water in them because as he's newborn, we don't want to be adding any like oils or fragrances or anything like that to it because of I don't want to stick that on his skin basically but as he gets bigger in the next couple of months I might put a couple of drops of like soothing essential oils in with this water so that it kind of moisturizes his bot as we wipe it but yeah this is really good we've got these which are our cheeky wipes these ones are made of organic 100% organic cotton they're really lovely we have some bamboo fiber ones as well in like pastel colors but yeah, we basically got a kit of 50 of these. Again, they just go in the wash with the nappies. We, like I said, used the water wipes for the first day or so because you're allowed to use those on newborns. And we thought, oh, we'll just use those for convenience. And like, they just, 
they just smear poo around everywhere. They're, they're not great. Whereas these seem to just one wipe if you're strategic with your usage. And yeah, you just can clean an entire poopy bum with just one little wipe, which is ace. And they're super soft on his skin and they wash really easily and they're just really easy to use. So when you're using cloth nappies, if you're using cloth nappies, it's not much of a jump to switch to cloth wipes as well. So when we are out and about, which we haven't done a huge amount of yet because postpartum recovery is really fun. I have a really cute little wet bag basically that zips up and you have your clean wipes in one section and then a little separate waterproof pocket that you stick your dirty wipes in basically. But I'm going to do a what's in my changing bag video soon and I will just show you all of that there because it's more relevant in that post. But yeah, cheeky wipes are fl flipping amazing. And I posted about these on Instagram um, when they first arrived. And I had so many messages from people saying, we love our cheeky wipes, we've been using them for two or three years. And they're absolutely fantastic. So that's really good to hear because I'd never used them before, obviously. So yeah, we love these, we couldn't live without these. And um, they go very nicely with our naps. So, moving on to the next thing that's been essential for us. This. So, this is a, like, atomizy essential oils diffuser, but also, cleverly, a, like a changing colour light. And I bought this to use during my labour, because we had a home birth, and I wanted it to be, like, kind of spa-like and zen, and so I had lots of different essential oils, and we just had them in here, and it was diffusing nice calming relaxing scents around the room and it has like a light I mean it can go rainbow colored changing LED and that's not so not so much what I'm into but also you can change the color and have it stuck to one color so we've had it set to this like warm yellowy sort of glow and we've just had this on in our bedroom as like a warm night light basically without the without the mist and aromatherapy every night but it's been really really good because having baby co-sleep with us and needing to wake up to feed him and change his nappy and things like that it's just nice to have like a kind of not distracting from sleep but like a warm night light so we can see what we're doing we're not tripping over in the bedroom in our sleep deprived state so that's really good i think it was about 13 pounds or something it wasn't very much from amazon but uh, yeah we've used it loads so i thought why not include it as well when babe pops out we obviously everybody says get a hat like pop a little hat on him like keep him warm and these ones we got from alex and alexa they're little mama copenhagen hats i don't know if you can see is it gonna focus who knows it's focusing? I can't tell, I'm too far away from the camera. But yeah, it's super duper soft. It's modal and cotton. But yeah, it's really, really soft and really sweet and it fit him really nicely and I really like the pattern and it's just not your bog standard boring baby hat. So I thought I'd put that on there. Get invest in a nice cute little hat because the likelihood is you're gonna be taking loads of pictures of them as soon as they're fresh out. And so pop them in something cute. And we like this. As well, we bought this Mary Mary blanket. It is 100% organic cotton. It's so soft. It's like double sided. It's got little moons and constellations and patterns all over it. I don't know how well you can see it on the screen because it is quite bright in there. But it's really, really soft and it's been amazing at basically throwing over him when he needs an extra layer, wrapping him in to put him in the car seat just laying him on top of when I pop him on the sofa next to me or whatever in between holding him and yeah it's just really nice it's really versatile really soft so definitely get yourself a nice soft big baby blanket because yeah use it all the time and you also need you can never have too many muslins so we've got some really lovely ones in a range of different patterns really like this little LED details spotted one it's really soft and we've got quite a few of these amazing big muslin swaddles from a lovely american brand called clementine kids i love these they come in so many different colors and i'll find one here got one here on the cot as well yeah they're just stunning i've got loads i literally have them everywhere there's some in the basket here but yeah a massive swaddle is fantastic for literally everything. Mopping up sick, wrapping your baby in to move them around the house, laying them on top of, like, 
I can't even think, having over your shoulder, like covering your baby with if you're out and about and it gets a bit chilly, like just literally everything. I feel like they're the answer to everything. They mop up every bodily fluid and they're just so useful and swaddling them in it like like a mummy, like super tight. So it like chills them out and calms them down and makes them feel like they're back in the womb has been really good as well. Jack's become really good at swaddling and it really calms them down. So big ones are great for that. And then little ditty ones are great for everything else really, just doing all the mopping. And again, yeah, we just sling them in the wash at the same time as we wash our cloth nappies and cloth wipes. But yeah, you can never have too many. People bought us muslins as well. We must have about 30 muslins maybe. And I swear, they, they just, they disappear everywhere. They're all over the entire house and you always need one to hand. So you can never have too many. But yeah, if you can get some really beautiful ones then it makes it more enjoyable than just boring white squares. One other thing that we have been not able to live without over the last week, I'm not sure how common it is or whether we've just been really unlucky, but baby managed to get himself like a bit of a cold and a congested nose within the first two days of his life, which was fun. And so obviously babies can't blow their nose and if you're breastfeeding, like their nose is like squished into your boob and like if they can't breathe through it then it makes it really difficult and a bit really fussy and really head bobby and head butty and it makes everything a real pain so we got some really fun things we have snuffle babe and like saline nasal drops which is supposed to like help disinfect and clear their nose gently and encourage all that lovely snot to come down and out and then we've been using it in combination with one of these, which is essentially a snot sucker. Now, mum was saying to my sister that back in the day, you just had to actually suck snot out of babies' noses, which is quite repulsive. And I'm glad we have this thing now, but essentially you stick this little tube just into their little tiny nasal passage and then you suck through this little mouthpiece and it has a filter in it so you don't actually get a mouthful of snot but yeah then it collects all the snot in this little barrel thing which is really revolting but also quite useful and yeah we've been putting a couple of drops of the saline solution in his nose to like loosen everything up and then sucking all the snot and drops out which is really really nice but no it's been really good so i would recommend getting one of these contraptions just in case you have a snuffly little baby like we did. Sleep wise, we have loved our sleepy head. Everybody raves about these. He's not sleepy in this all through the night yet. I'm hoping that he will do soon and I'm hoping that when we move into his cot, he will sleep in this and it'll be really comfy for him and snug. And um, everybody raves about them. Um, at the moment, he's kind of sleeping in it for a little bit, waking for a feed and then falling back asleep on one of us. But it's really handy as well, not just for having in the bed, but for taking and moving around the house. So if I'm downstairs, I can literally pop him next to me in it when I need to get some work done or do anything else that involves using both of my hands. Um, it's really useful, it's really lightweight and it has like carry handles on it. So we like that and I think we'll definitely be using this more and more and more as he grows because at the moment he's just like <laughs> a tiny little parcel on the top of it but yeah and then the last essential that we've had in the kind of new baby essential category because I'm sure there's a million other things that are super duper useful as babe grows but at the moment as a fresh out the womb one week old newborn this is kind of the compact list of things we literally could not live without is this so we have a couple of baby carriers or slings. We've got a Tula one that we're yet to use that is from birth to, I think, three or basically birth to big. And it can be worn on your front or on your back. And it's kind of one of those more solid, slot them in, away you go carriers. Really excited to use that. But also we got um, this kind of really, really soft jersey, traditional fabric sling wrap because just sometimes you don't want to take the push chair and all that paraphernalia out and about with you. This morning I went to collect a parcel from the post office and it's just nice to not have a whole load of paraphernalia with you and if it's just a quick trip, I didn't even take the changing bag, I literally just stuck him in this on my front and took him with and he loves it, he just goes straight to sleep, he's right against your chest 
then you can kind of see him, make sure he's all alright and snug, and it's really comfortable and it's really, really easy to put on. So there are millions out there, but this one's from Solly Baby, another American brand, which I love. They've got so many nice patterns and colours. This one has little kind of crescent moons on it and various other patterns, which was very apt, and I really, really like it. And they have these really nice instruction videos that are like three minutes long online where they basically just show you exactly how to put it on, how to put baby in, how to check that baby is in properly and safely. And yeah, watch the video once and we were away. So this has had quite a lot of use actually. Even around the house, it's just nice sometimes when you want to use both hands to kind of have baby on you. They're relaxed and chill and sleeping and then you can kind of get on with what you want to do. So I'm really hoping that I use this more and more as he gets bigger and I start to transition back into hopefully doing a little bit of work from home because from packing people's orders and responding to emails and things like that it's just nice to be able to use both hands but also have baby nearby and not just have them you know somewhere on the other side of the room or in their cot or anything like that it's just it's just nice nice to have some snuggle time so yeah that's it for my new baby essentials essentials on top of that obviously there are things like your changing mat and making sure you have baby grows and things and on that note i would say <laughs> definitely make sure you've got enough newborn stuff because everybody said oh people give you loads of newborn things and they're only in it for five minutes and so just get stuck up yourself on all the other stuff which i did and then he popped out six pound five and all the newborn stuff is enormous on him and we only had a tiny handle of things so yeah we've had to scrabble around to get some newborn clothes for him this week. Yeah, if we have loads more things that we start to absolutely love and use all the time that we're adding into our like, can't live without this list, then maybe I'll make another video that's kind of like a first year essentials or something like that. I don't know, I'm very new to this, but that's, that's it for today, really. That's all my essentials. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Any questions? literally give me a shout in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Like I said, I'll link to all the products and yeah, any other ideas for content that you want, just hit me up and I will do my best. But for now, I will get back to seeing the husband and babe are okay. And yeah, just, just continue in my sleep deprived state. But yeah, speak soon. Hope you enjoyed it and bye for now. Bye.